Hello everyone, it is Wednesday, November 24th. Today's video will not probably have any editing because I'm in a very serious mood. Lately in the news, I've been reading a lot of things and it gets my mind going again. And a lot of people don't know this side of me. Most of my friends and even my family know the more comedic, awkward, strange Stephanie. But there are thoughts that go in my head, you see, I think, unlike some people I know. And I've been reading in the news, even before I was reading the news, I had interest in a lot of things. I am very interested in cultures, especially ones that we don't really understand. Cultures like that of North Korea. I have a lot of interest in North Korea. And this may sound really weird for some of you. I don't know how this is actually going to come off. Um, but I watch a lot of documentaries. There's one documentary I cannot find anymore. I watched it a couple years ago. And it was this guy. And I think he had like a YouTube channel or a website where he can constantly traveled and uploaded these things. So if you know of this guy, I cannot remember the name. I just remember that he went into um, North Korea by chance. He got invited by chance and they did the whole propaganda thing for him and he got invited and one of the scenes that I really remember is like when they put on this gigantic amazing show for this guy and it was ridiculously uh, done and I really want to find this documentary again. I've watched a couple other ones so um, I've watched Children of the Secret State, I've watched Into North Korea or Welcome to North Korea or something like that uh, and then I watched this other recent one with the eye doctor. So it's not one of those three, if that's who you're thinking. But it was this guy, and he was kind of like this, I think he was this big, kind of bearded fellow. So if you know who I'm talking about, please tell me. Um, but I recently thought a lot, I have a lot of ideas of what I want to do with my life. I'm still young, I'm only 23, um, in case you didn't know. And I have all these aspirations and things where I can see myself doing them like I like teaching as an ALT it's great but it's you know it's limited time and I have other plans like I want to do translation um, I really like writing I'm writing a book I love making videos I love making documentaries and stuff I want to get more into it and there's a lot of things that I just feel like I could be doing and I want to do something with my life I don't want to sit here and make it go to waste by doing pointless things. So I don't know if you fully understand where I'm going at right now, but I don't think a lot of people know this side of me and I don't express it a lot because it usually just stays inside my brain. And I have crazy ideas. A lot of people know that I'm pretty crazy and I, <laughs> I might be crazy. Um, I want to delve into things that people don't delve into or aren't willing to risk it. It's almost kind of like a King and I thing that I have. I used to watch the King and I a lot when I was a kid and the, you know, the teacher goes to Siam and she teaches them English and about geography and all kinds of crazy stuff and the uh, young prince gets a lot of influence from her and he grows to try and become a better leader and the father, you know, King of Siam is really cool. And, it is a puzzlement and all that jazz. Uh, all that jazz is Chicago, sorry. Um, I like musicals. But uh, that kind of delving in, jumping in and making a difference to somewhere. And by and making a difference not only by affecting other people from what I know, but also being affected by their own culture and understanding. So what, this is my whole aspect with, with North Korea. I mean, everybody is all about the hate and there's, there's hate on both sides, and you can see that, and I'm really sick of the hate. And I do want, like, I want, this is the miscongeniality, I want world peace kind of thing. I really do. Um, and it's not on a cheesy level. I, I really, I get tired of hearing about these things. I think a lot of people get tired about hearing about wars and things like that. Uh, I'm kind of annoyed with the whole Cambodian stampede and stuff. I mean... They don't even know what caused it! Why was there this stampede of people? What's up with that? How do we not know the cause for 350 some odd deaths? With a, a stampede- when I first saw a stampede I thought it was like 
animals. But then I actually read the article and I was like, I'm like it's people! How do we not know? How do these people who were running, who are, who are the people who are learning who are still alive, how did they not tell anybody what happened? How do we lose this information here? If it was animals, we couldn't rightly ask. But we can ask people. And I don't know why. If you have more information on it, please send me. I don't know if, if any of the things have been updated or not. I'm kind of behind on the news because of where I get it. I don't have easy access to the news where I'm at because half the time it's in Japanese on my television and I'm not quite sure what's going on. Moving back to what my original point was, um, I just want to do things and I want to help and, and just make something out of it and it's it's a side of myself that I can't express well in words it's just something that I have to do. I'm pretty sure now this may scare my mother and my family, I'm pretty sure that if I had the opportunity to go into North Korea, I probably would, just to see if I was allowed to document and give, be given access to certain areas, because no one's ever, no foreigners are ever allowed full access, it just doesn't exist, I, I would take that chance. It would be scary as hell, but it's something that if I could go in there and make a slight difference at all, or even understand where they're coming from better, I think that would help me grow as a person and then I could share that knowledge with people and hopefully that would affect other people and this whole chain reaction would start. But that's the huge part of the dream that goes inside my head. The small bit is just so that I can understand better about people because we can be very judgmental there are judgmental people everywhere hell there's probably a lot of judgmental people who watch this video and go damn why is that fat chick talking that's judgmental and i'm judgmental everyone is it's just something we do i'm sorry if this video is dragging on long but i really wanted to just have a raw video of me talking to you and just kind of trying to put my thoughts into understandable sentences, but it, it's obviously not working because I can't speak very well right now. And it's frustrating me that I just want to do all these things, but I don't, I feel like I'm young, but I only have so much time to do them in before, you know, you die. And I want to do these things. I just don't have the resources. I don't have the capabilities of it. I just, all I have is the heart and the passion to do these things. Everything else is just, pfft, I don't have it. If you want to be serious and stuff. You can be serious in the comments or hell, send me a message and we can have a serious conversation. If you know my MSN or anything like that, any messengers or my Facebook, you can do them there as well. Sorry if I bored you because I was not my usual bouncing all over the place self and I wanted to be serious today. So I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, on a good note, I got my car back today.